When you want inexpensive, reliable power on the go, you turn to products like the EcoFlow River 3. But when you want something that's a little bit more compact and easy to carry, that's when you turn to the EcoFlow Rapid Magnetic Power Bank. And that's what we're gonna check out in today's video. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We've reviewed a lot of the EcoFlow product line and that's because they create some really interesting products in really small form factors. We've reviewed products in the past such as the Delta battery power generator. We've looked at this, the EcoFlow River 3 and they are phenomenal products. And that's why we wanted to continue with the EcoFlow ecosystem in all of our portable power needs. And we've got some trips coming up where I need to get power on the go to charge stuff like my laptop, like my cell phone, but also power our camera gear to keep our Ace Pro camera charged up and ready to film our latest YouTube video. Yes, we take this channel on the run. We're not just tethered to this studio all the time. We've done road trips in our cars. We've done challenges. We've done all kinds of really exciting stuff. And products like these are what help us keep the power when we need it so we're always ready to go. Now today I do wanna look at this, which is the EcoFlow Rapid Magnetic Power Bank. Now there's a lot to unpack there. So I wanna do an unboxing and then just explore this this thing together. Gams go. Are you paying too much for Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Duolingo, Canva, or Adobe? Gams go has you covered with premium shared subscriptions for a fraction of the price directly from the distributor. Yes, Gamsco is the shared premium experience that you've been looking for that saves a ton of money. I personally use Gamsco for my Netflix, my Spotify, my Disney Plus, and my Crunchyroll subscriptions, and I have saved tons of money by switching to Gamsco. This is truly an amazing deal. You don't want to miss it. Click the link down below to grab your deal. First off, for the unboxing part, like the, the packaging is really nice. It's got a picture of what you're getting on the front. On the back, it's got a little bit of details about what it is that you're gonna get inside this package. It is quite small, which makes me think that it's gonna be a pretty small power bank, but it does pack a lot of features that the bigger, more expensive power banks offer at such a small and more affordable price. This is a very tight box of packaging. It comes with this little card here. That's kind of cool. The manual comes in this little sleeve here. It says power a new world and then this slides out of this little sleeve. And then there's the manual. Now the text on here is quite small. It is multi-language, but I'm not going to read it. It's got lots of specs and stuff on there. Mostly I'm interested in this guy, which we'll check out after we make sure there's nothing else in here and there's not. So that's everything that's in the box. Now this is mostly what we're after here. So let's have a look. Wow. And this is the charger itself. You can see there's a reflective mirror-like surface on here through the multi-display. I think that's a display. It should turn on. I've got fingerprints on it already and it's um, really smudgy for sure. The back is rubbery and then it says key two on there which is for the wireless charging pad. It's nice because then you can put it down and then your phone sits on top of there but it's so slippery that we go like that and it's probably going to scuff this up a lot. It's already turning some lights on. Moving around to the side there is a, a power button here which I haven't explored exactly what it does. Moving around to the bottom, this I believe is the detachable cord, which it is, and this is a detachable USB-C cord. So anyone who's using an Apple device, you're gonna use the wireless charging, or hopefully you've got one that takes the USB-C plug-in on the bottom. You could probably use a USB-C to lightning adapter that as well. On the side there's also a USB-C port that allows you to externally power anything that you like. On the top it's just all sealed. Now the shape and design of this is supposed to be small and easy to fit in your pocket so I think they've done that. If I look at my Galaxy S24 Ultra for a comparison it is smaller than the Ultra. It's obviously not nearly as tall as the Ultra and for the thickness it's just slightly thicker than the Ultra. It's not too big to carry around. And then if we push that button there, I don't know if I need to push and hold or push. I see four lights turn on. 
So there is a multi-function display underneath there, but it doesn't tell us anything right now because nothing's plugged in. Now this particular one is the 5,000 milliamp hour model. There is a 10,000 milliamp hour model available as well. And that's, you know, obviously a little bit bigger and it will provide more power, more charging, more of everything. But what does this actually do? First off, it supports wireless charging at up to 15 watts. Now that's not the fastest wireless charging, but it's definitely fast enough to recharge pretty much any cell phone or AirPods or anything that supports wireless charging. If that's not fast enough, you did see that there's a detachable USB-C cord here. Well, it's not detachable, it's attached. It's a deployable USB-C cord here. And depending on the model you have, it will do 30 watts or 65 watts. So the 5,000 milliamp model will do 30 watts through the USB-C cord. The 10,000 milliamp model will do 65 watts through this USB cord. So it will provide enough power to charge, say like this laptop. I will try plugging it into this laptop just to see what it does because I'm curious to know what can this actually do. Now this supports what they call rapid technology and that is the ability to recharge quickly. Once you have depleted this all the way to zero, it will recharge to 70% in as little as 30 minutes. Now, why 70%? That's mostly because lithium batteries can handle a lot of power quickly, but as they get more full, they generate a lot of heat and it can damage the battery. So to go from 70% to the final 100% will take quite a bit longer and it will slow down the closer you get to 100. Your cell phone does the exact same thing. When it's discharged a lot, it will recharge very quickly up to 70 or 80% and then it also slows down. This is no different. It requires requires that slower speed just to keep the heat under control. Now this provides a reasonably high output power and it supports a number of devices. It will support recharging of pretty much all Apple devices, Samsung devices, Kindles, e-readers, headphones, pretty much anything that you can throw at this, it will support it. Gone are the days of needing a special charger that's supported for especially those Apple guys because Apple likes to lock down their equipment. So this fully communicates with the Apple protocol to allow it to charge at the maximum speed that this will support and that the device will support. Now, how much power will it provide and how much can we recharge? Let's look at the MacBook Air. The 5,000 milliamp model will provide power to the MacBook Air for an additional four hours. If you have the 10,000 milliamp model, model, it will provide power for eight hours. This will provide enough power to recharge your cell phone, an iPhone, a Samsung Galaxy S24 like I have up to about two times, depending on a number of factors. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but keep in mind, my Samsung will last about a day and a half on a single charge. So if you were on a long hiking trip where you needed some extra power, you could recharge that phone, use that for taking pictures, and this will provide enough power to, to charge that phone two more times during the course of that trip. You could also couple this with the EcoFlow Solar Hat, where while you're hiking around, you can recharge this so that it's ready to charge your phone later on in the evening. Some other really cool features of this is pass-through charging. Let me demonstrate what I mean. Now I can plug this, my laptop takes USB-C charging, so I can plug this in like that to charge my laptop. Now my laptop says that it is charging and it does not support full charging. So this laptop needs a lot of power, but it will trickle charge it and it will work just fine. Now my phone supports wireless charging as well, so I can set it on top of the wireless pad and it says at this rate, it's at 36% right now, and it says that it's gonna take about three hours to charge my phone at the speed that it's charging right now. We'll check the speed through the USB port in a minute, but through that side USB port, I can also plug this into the wall. So now I can recharge the battery on the EcoFlow power unit while I charge my phone on the wireless mat and I recharge my laptop on the USB-C port. So it supports full pass-through charging to charge two devices while it charges itself. Now this is an extreme example. Usually what you're gonna do is plug this little guy in to your cell phone and now when I look at the charging speed, 
uh, it, I need to give it a second to figure out how fast it's charging. It's dropped that charge time down to two hours and 10 minutes. Now it's currently at 36%. So to charge in two hours and 10 minutes, not bad. And this thing is not actually fully charged. I just pull it out of the box, but I could now stick my wireless headphones on here and charge those, charge my phone. And if I needed to, I could plug into the USB port on the side here and recharge the actual battery built into this. Now the bigger one, the 10,000 milliamp hour one also has app support. So you can use the EcoFlow app to manage the charge rate of the devices. You can also do some custom displays on the screen to tell, to put your name on there, put a fun little graphic and stuff like that. And the only thing we really haven't talked about are the dimensions. We showed you compared to my phone, but the actual dimensions are 4.25 inches by 2.7 inches by 0.57 inches thick. And it weighs about 0.4 pounds. It is extremely light. It's not a big deal, but it feels really well built. There's, it feels dense, so it's not hollow. You can tell that there's a lot of stuff in there that makes this thing tick. Now, if you've seen all this and you've thought to yourself, well, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I will put a link in the description where you can grab one of these. Don't forget, if you are gonna be away for a long time, you're boondocking or you wanna have a little bit more power on the go, something like the River 3 is definitely a lot more capable and provides a lot more power, especially when you're in my situation where you've got a lot of cameras, you've got a lot of lights, you've got laptops, you've got audio equipment, you've got all this stuff you need to recharge. The River 3 is a great option as long as you've got the space to bring that with you. It provides AC power and USB power to recharge all your devices. Obviously, you can go up from there, the Delta 2, the Delta 3, the Delta Max, they all provide more power, more longer, more everything better. But this is kind of the baby little brother of all of those, where if you just want something convenient, there's no hassles, this is the guy that you're looking for. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.